What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, I did make it a priority for me to actually start recording and filming what the fuck I'm doing in my life. So I have the Supra in and I'm not going to lie to you guys, I am not perfect. <laughs> uh, I do make mistakes, not every rap is perfect. And um, the Supra is definitely the most difficult car I've ever wrapped. Uh, I've wrapped an NSX, I've wrapped a GTR, I've wrapped 22 Type R's, I've wrapped a whole bunch of stuff. Um, now this is the most difficult car, the most difficult car I've ever wrapped, if I can fucking talk today. Sorry, I've had uh, some caffeine today and I'm just, I'm on it right now. But anyways, um, I did have some issues on the bumper. We had some issues just right in here. Um, I just need to bring this inlay here out a little further. Uh, there's really no other way that I can see doing this thing, but um, but yeah, I need to just get the inlay out a little further. You guys can see right here what I did. I just need to bring it out a little further, and then I should be able to get this in here, cut right along the edge here, right? Because I have an inlay on this side too. So cut right along the edge here where it meets, and then I should be able to get this all down this way. Besides this, I had no other issues, and then this is where the I'm not perfect comes in, and... I will put myself on rap police. I don't give a fuck. If I end up on rap police, I'm not going to take that as like, I'm the worst fucking rapper in the world, or I'm not going to take that as I do shit work or whatever. For me, it's motivation to do better, right? A lot of people get offended and they get mad, whatever, that they end up on rap police, whatever. It's like, yo, you fucked up. Cool. Right, fix, right? Fix whatever issues you had. Fix whatever mistakes you made and move on, right? It's not the end of the world. Like, not everybody's perfect. I see stuff. I see some stuff on Rap Police that's <laughs> super cringy. It's like, damn, that's really bad. But like, you know, if it's lifting like small areas or whatever, if it's lifting on like really difficult areas, like on this bumper or whatever, like if I see another super and it's lifting right there, I'll be like, yeah, I understand that. If it's lifting like on every corner and it's crinkling, there's fingers everywhere, then it's like, oh, dude, what, what, what were you doing? But anyways, um, had issues on the front bumper as well. This side was fine. It was this side, just literally right in here, right in that corner, it was lifting. So, naturally, we're gonna rewrap the whole bumper. Um, I have Josiah here, disassembling. Um, kind of just told him what, uh, what bolts need to come off while I record and stuff. He's actually here to help me uh, stretch the vinyl over um, like the, the corners of the bumper. I do also have a video on disassembling this whole car. So if you guys want to know how to disassemble this whole car, my previous video is literally everything. How to take tail lights out, bumpers, door handles, mirrors, everything. So go click on that. And uh, also follow me at Mis Zapatos, follow Illustrious Auto Styling, follow Josiah.Asbill. Oh no, my Instagram is Josiah.PV. Josiah, Josiah.PV. I'll link them down below. Anyways, be right back. What is up guys? So, last night I attempted to do the front bumper with Josiah. I had a lot of issues with it, with discoloring. The last time I did it, I did it by myself and it was difficult because if you guys look at the front bumper, it's very round and it's very round this way, right? So stretching over that was definitely a challenge. Uh, so this time with Josiah, I thought maybe if we stretch over the hump in the middle, right? So I had it stuck down pretty much here. Sorry. So I had it stuck down pretty much here and then had the vinyl all the way out and then was heating this whole area and then we pulled this way. Well, actually reverse. We pulled the other way and then lifted and pulled the other way. But with that, there was a very distinct line where it discolored. Now, I saw the discoloring. I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to rewrap this thing. But I'm... I was also kind of short on vinyl, so I was like, okay, well, I need to wrap the rear bumper, make sure the rear bumper's fine. Um, that way I know I have enough to redo the front bumper. And um, so we got the rear bumper done. It's right here. It's almost put back together completely, but um, went ahead and put my logo there. Um, so <clears throat> it was just really annoying that I spent all that time on the front bumper and it didn't even come out that great 
And I don't know how I did it last time, but I came up short uh, right in here. These vents are not easy at all. But um, whatever. Ripped it all off and uh, cleaned it all back up. I redid these inlays here. Now they come up a little higher on the inside because before it came just like, let me show you guys. So before it came pretty much just right in here. So now I gave myself like an extra, maybe half an inch, not even that much. So brought it up, brought it down a little further and came up to the lip a little further up here. Um, so now I'm gonna redo the front bumper. I have my IR heater. That's another thing, I didn't use my IR heater, I was just using a torch to heat it up. So I believe now we will have less issues. <laughs> Hopefully no issues, right? You always hope for the best, but I'm expecting the worst. I'm gonna take the door handle off and then uh, we're gonna wrap this bumper. I'll do a time lapse, you guys will see how that's done. So stay tuned. All right guys, let's start wrapping this bumper. Fingers crossed, I hope it goes well. Also, if you guys uh, wrap, Hit a ghost glove. These things are fucking amazing. Like literally amazing. It's, it's like 16 bucks for one, but. Alright guys, so the video cut out at the end there where we were stretching up um, the top here, but pretty much just put the IR heater on it. If you guys don't have an IR heater, this is going to be very difficult to do without it. Um, obviously, last night I tried with the torch and fucking had issues everywhere. Uh, there was discoloration like crazy, so as you guys can see here, there is no discoloration. Like yesterday there was a line right here pretty much where we stretched this way. So. I mean, this thing is glassed. As you guys can see, I haven't touched it yet. But I mean, it's, I mean, it's ready to lay. I just gotta squeegee everything down. Um, but the IR heater definitely helped with, obviously you guys saw how we heated the whole middle area and then we just pulled out. And uh, yeah, I mean, that went really fucking great. Uh, so I'm gonna finish this up, show you guys what it looks like after. And, um, Anything else? That's about it. See you guys in a bit. Alright guys. Ben has joined us. Hey. He is the owner of the Supra. He's switching out his horn because um, he described it as what? Bitch made. <laughs> bitch, bitch made. <laughs> so uh, he's switching out his horn to one that hopefully sounds a little more um, assertive and uh, aggressive. Because, uh, yeah, even my Type R has a shitty fucking horn. I have to rewrap also these. Um, little side panels on the doors um what else that's about it actually oh I lied also on my previous video about how to get off um, the driver door handle is actually a t6 the passenger is a t15 for some reason I don't know why they did that but you know whatever what are you doing dude you freaking oh my god dude you are fucking crazy <laughs> Guys, this is what having a Frenchie is like. <laughs> hey, what do you want? No, 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 go get your toy. Go get your toy. Go get your toy. Get your toy.
fucking psycho. No, go to your house. Go to your house. Go to your house. House. Go. No, house. Good boy. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back. I'm actually going to close this video out. I just wanted to show you guys um, the front bumper. It's right here. It's all down. I just have to wrap this bottom lip for him in satin black so it kind of blends in with this. This is dirty, but it's going to get cleaned up. Um, and uh, I just wanted to show you guys where I brought the inlay up to. It, I mean, it, it comes up pretty far, and that's enough for literally no tension right in here, which is great. So there's that. Um, I mean, this is all down good. Uh, I mean this all turned out really really nice actually I still got to cut these out But yeah, that's the front bumper the rear bumper is Almost mounted. I just got to bolt everything back up on the bottom and put the splitter back on or the rear diffuser Sorry. Yeah, I mean that that's that's pretty much it for this car uh, I do have a Toyota Camry that I picked up from uh, street Toyota, which is um, It's one of the dealerships here in town, but they sell the most cars like out of any other dealership here I think they sell like five to six hundred cars a month if I'm correct I don't remember the exact number but um oh also I'm doing PPF on his headlights because it's like 1800 to replace one so he's worried about bugs and rock chips and stuff so if you guys need PPF on your headlights or you know your hoods or whatever I do offer PPF now which is really cool um, I've done it before but now I'm like full force like um, I guess just offering that service uh, so, so yeah, and then I need to figure out, he wants his windshield done, but I've tried putting PPF on the windshield and it looks really blurry. Um, so I need to figure out what type of film I can put on there so I can offer that as well because, man, that'll save your windshield from rock chips and a whole lot of shit, honestly. So, that's it for this video. Follow me, Ami Zapatos. Follow Illustrious Auto Styling for more, um, rap stuff. And also let me know in the comments if you guys want to see any other types of videos, more like tutorials, more like how-tos or just rap stuff. Um, follow Josiah at josiah.pv, right? Yes, sir. And then uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.